everybody welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel my name is nightly aries so today we are doing a current household actually this is actually a very very special household um it's not like a normal current household it is actually a challenge current household so if you guys ever heard of the midnight sun challenge this is that i will link the midnight sun challenge in the description down below but that way you guys have all the rules. But basically, um, you're out in the middle of fucking nowhere. Like, this is the world. It's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. You're stuck on this little houseboat, and you have to get to five generations. But you can't talk to anybody unless you travel, and you can only travel three times. So there you have it. <laughs> so we're going to jump straight into this with our first little sim here oh my god it's doing that thing it's doing that thing so here is our first sim this is silver langford um she is who we started off with if you guys want to see the progress of this family i do have streams on my channel that you can go and check out uh where we did play on stream um so a lot of you guys will actually know this family just a little bit. But for those of you who don't and just are here, welcome. Um, so this is Silver. She is a loner. I figured loner would kind of help with not talking to people. She's also handy, which is very nice because she can fix things because we can't call a handyman. She's artistic, so we can get some money. She has a green thumb and she's an angler. She likes the color red. She likes Goopy Carabana and she likes kids music. And she is a Sagittarius. I don't remember choosing any of this. I don't remember any of that. Anyway, um, no, no, no job, no job. Um, she's level two athletic, level nine in the cooking, um, level nine in fishing. She's mastered the gardening skill, level six in handiness, level three logic, mastered the painting skill, and she's level one social networking, level eight in writing level five in advanced technology, and she is a level six in the scuba diving. That is quite a bit, quite a bit. And she does have 46,000 lifetime reward points, which I eventually want to use to get like the inheritance just for a little bit of money. But right now we're honestly not struggling for money, but she also has the lifetime wish of the perfect garden, which I did not do. Right, so, um, yeah, let's go on to our first son. So, the first time we traveled to China and we hooked up with a local, um, a local sim, um, and we had Mr. Mushu right here. This is, so, for Mushu, he was named after Mulan, um, so the only character that we could think of in the Milan movie was Mushu. So this is Mushu. He's also a loner. He's shy. He's a bookworm. He's a mooch. And he's artistic. He likes the color yellow. He likes crepes. And he likes digitunes. And he is actually an Aquarius. And he has 22 days till he is actually an adult. And his skills are level 4 inventing, level 4 athletic, level 1 cooking, level 7 gardening, level 2 handiness, level 8 in logic, level 3 painting, and level 4 advanced technology, and level 1 scuba diving. And he does, how many lifetime? He has 25,000 lifetime rewards, and his lifetime wish is to become a professional author. So, that's Mushu. And then this sim... Oh my gosh, this sim right next to him is actually his imaginary friend, Mulan. So we did actually make her real. Um, so Mulan is adventurous. She's neat, nurturing, a green thumb, and an angler. She likes the color lime green. Ceviche is what I think that's how that's pronounced. And she likes country music. <sighs> what a country girl. Anyway, she's also a Scorpio and she has 22 days till she is an adult. And her skills are level 4 guitar, level 3 logic, level 1 painting, and level 4 advanced technology. And she has 7,000 lifetime rewards. And she actually wants to get into a deep sea diver. So she wants to master the diving skill, which we can definitely do with her. Um, On to our next sim is we went to... We went to Egypt and 
for Egypt, we ended up having Jasmine here after Aladdin. So Jasmine is a natural cook, a genius, good, and a cat person. She likes the color pink, key lime pie, and Chinese music. And she's a Gemini. And she has nine days till she is actually an adult. She's level one athletic, level one cooking, and level two advanced technology. And she doesn't really have any lifetime wishes right now. But then we have we went to France and oh my gosh so glitchy so glitchy excuse me oh also a jasmine she also has an imaginary friend somewhere yeah here he is his name's abu he is the monkey from aladdin that's him and then we have Miss Belle over here when we went to France. So we have Belle from um, Beauty and the Beast. Belle is brave. She's disciplined and she's family oriented. She likes the color orange. Ratatouille, classical music, and she's a Virgo. And she also has five days till she's a teenager. And she's only level one in advanced technology. And her imaginary friend is the Beast. His name is Beast. So let's actually get into the house. I am going to rearrange it. Oh, I didn't show you guys. Hold on. The cat. The fucking cat. I totally forgot about the cat. Um, so I do have to change some things around because we have a cat now and our cat can't use the elevators from Into the Future. But this is the cat. Her name is Cinderella. She is destructive and piggy and she has no skills. But this is our cat. She is literally a psychopath. She's fucking nuts. Anyway, let's get into the house. Um... We'll do it this way because it's just easier. Oh, no, it's not. No, it fucking isn't. No, it fucking isn't. Anyway, we have like a little landing right here. It definitely needs some work. I thought I deleted that, but that's fine. Um, okay, it's being a little laggy. Excuse you. Um, this is our living room. It's very, very tiny, very small. We do have a shark up here that we caught and we have all of our wine that we got from France. We have a little dining table which I'm going to get rid of eventually because I need to put in different stairs. But here is our kitchen. We have a mounted fish right there and stuff. And then we just have this plain little bathroom um, down here so that they have a place to go. And then out here we just have the firewood oven because it didn't fit in the kitchen and I wanted one. And then we just have a hanging chair, which honestly I feel like would make you really fucking sick. Like imagine you're in the middle of the ocean, you're on a boat, and then you're in a hanging swing. So I feel like you'd get seasick, but anyway. And then we just have the little um, thingy majiggy to drive it. Um, if we go downstairs, we do have a basement. So we have Jasmine's room right here. I'm not really sure what to do with Jasmine's room. I was trying to do like themes based off where they're from. So her room is supposed to be like Egypt themed. I don't know. It didn't really work out the way I was hoping. But then here's Belle's room over here. Um, my favorite room in the fucking house. It is my favorite room. I love the teapot. She has Mrs. Potts hanging from her walls, holding on to baby Chip and stuff. It's super duper cute. I just love it. Um, the bed is also from World Adventures, which is from, and like this bed is from like France and stuff. So I really, really like it. Um, they have their potion table here, a little dance bar for Belle, and then a popcorn machine. And then if we go back up to the, technically the second level, I guess, we have Silver's room, which is like boat themed, I guess. I guess you can say nothing like crazy going on in there. I, I need to reset her. She's glitching. Um, they do have a bathroom up here. Um, and then they just have their little table with their computer, an easel for painting, and then all the cat stuff. And then out here on the deck, they have a baby swing and then just like some plants and stuff like that. Nothing like crazy. Um, and then if you go to the very, very tippy, tippy, tippy top, um, this was a greenhouse. And then I got so fucking sick and tired of the plants. I hated the gardening stuff. It was driving me absolutely insane. I could not stand it. So I got rid of it and I put like trees out here. I don't know if they work or not. We will see. But then this is Moosh's room. His room is like 
themed after the stuff from like the china collection so that's his room and then he just has his inventing table and his own little bathroom so that's basically it i do need to put in different i'm gonna reset her she is not delete her don't delete her she definitely needs to be reset. I don't know what's going on with her because I literally just loaded up the game. So, don't know what's going on with her. But, yeah. So, that is the house. It definitely needs some upgrading. I honestly am not sure who's going to take over the next generation. We have to get to five generations. So I'm not really sure who's going to take over. If you guys want to like suggest who takes over like the next generation, let me know. I mean, they're obviously all going to live in this house until they fucking die, obviously. Um, oh yeah, Milan and Mushu are actually married by the by. So other than that, I'm not sure. I don't know who I want to take over. I don't... I don't know. I don't know. I definitely need to get rid of, like, the baby swing. It's there from when, um, Jasmine was born, but... Yeah, this house looked a whole lot different. We do end up... We do now have, like, 14,000 simoleons, which is honestly all from scuba diving and traveling and stuff like that, but literally, this is the world. Like, there's literally nothing. We have this little port, which... I have to come over here and keep deleting sims because they keep dying and it's so sad but this is like this is it this is it's all we got and when we have like another diving spot over there and then we're we're out there it's so sad it's so sad it's so sad but I'm having so much fun with this um challenge though I honestly recommend this challenge um I know I've heard a lot of people say it causes game crashes, but I honestly haven't been experiencing it because there's not much in the world, but I don't really know how anybody else's game acts because my game, honestly, I will say when I first started playing this, my game did crash a lot. So I installed the autosave mod just for this reason, just for this reason, but they do all have imaginary friends. I don't really know if I, um want them all to be with their imaginary friend like Mushu is but yeah I guess we'll look at the family tree also um so oh my god Sova really got with a really young man a really young man any who's who's Jasmine's dad okay and who's Belle's dad okay okay well that's fine and dandy. That's fine and dandy. Their family tree is going to be all over the place, which it is what it is, I guess. Um, I wish I knew how to, if anybody knows how to get rid of this thing right here. I really want to get rid of it. I accidentally, when I went to China the first time, I accidentally accepted a task and I ran out of time when I was there. So like, it's still here and I don't know how to get rid of it. It's super annoying. It says return to China to complete this task, but I don't want to. I can't. It's against the rules. It's against the rules. Also, if you know what we can do with Jasmine's room, let me know. Like, I'm sorry. I'm just like rambling, but like there's not really much to the family, but I am super duper excited to play this and I'm super excited to do a current household this way because it is very different. Um than what I normally do. I don't normally do challenges on my own, and I was going to do this in an LP, but I felt like this type of challenge is more fun to do on streams and stuff, which I have been streaming, so, and I have been streaming here on YouTube, so, um, it's mostly, like, around, I want to say closer to, like, the evening time, Eastern Standard Time, so, like, after five, if you guys ever want to catch a stream. I do also stream on Twitch with my friends. My Twitch is also linked in the description down below, but I am going to go ahead and end this, this little video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you want this house up for download, let me know. I will put, it's really ugly, but if you want it, I will put it up for download. Um, 
just so you guys don't have to because honestly building on this little bitty lot this little bit little bitty like square is just annoying so i get it but i love you guys so 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 much thank you guys for watching if you like this video make sure you hit that big fat like button and let me know that you liked it also leave a comment in the comment section down below let's have a little chit chat let me know any suggestions for this family or if you're also doing the midnight sun challenge let me know how it's going um and if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that big fat subscribe button because it really helps me out. And I love you guys so, so, so much. And I will actually see you in my next video. Bye, guys.